Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 iPhone widgets that you must have on your iOS 13 device. These are widgets that are really, really awesome. And of course, most of them are very useful as well. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more and also turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my new videos. And here we go. Here are 15 widgets that you must have on your iPhone on iOS 13. Starting off with the first one, it's called usage. Now, what it does is that it will display you a bunch of information regarding the usage of your iPhone. From the CPU, which will be the one right here at the top left corner, then right here will have the RAM memory, and here you will have the disk usage of your device, so it will show you the total space on your device as well as the used and the free space and then lower here you will see like the data so you will see like how much data you have uploaded and downloaded right here so it will be separated into different sections now you can see this light mode if you tap right there you can go ahead and turn this widget into this like dark mode so you will have two different modes to choose from Next up is a widget called favorites. Now this widget allows you to have your favorite contacts right here on the widgets panel. Now, of course you can do that with the widget of the phone app of iOS, but this one has more features. Like if you tap on one of the contacts, it will give you a bunch of options here. You can like call the contact, message it, FaceTime or FaceTime audio directly here from the widget. Of course, you can do that from the widget panel on the home screen or on the lock screen. Now, if you go to this app here, you can go ahead and add any like contacts that you want. Just tap the plus button and you can add the contacts that you have on your contacts list. And then you can go ahead and just enable four of these options. The maximum is four. You can enable whichever ones you want to use. Next up is data monitor. This one is very, very useful, especially if you have a limited data plan. So what it does is that it will display the amount of data that you have used today, then also the amount of data that you have used during the month. And then it will show you your daily budget right there. Of course, it that will depend on the monthly budget, which you can set through the app of this widget. So once you set the monthly budget, Budget, then it will show you how much you have like the daily budget because it will separate it into 30 days of the month so you go to the app of this widget and you go to settings and from here you can go ahead and set the data limit so basically this will be the limit that you set there there and then of course it will go ahead and separate it into like different days and months so let's just go ahead and let me show you how to enter this so you tap right there and you will be able to enter on megabytes the limit of your data plan and then it will separate it into different days and it will show you how much you left for the day and of course for the month the next one is called upcoming birthday so you don't want to miss any of the birthdays of your family or your friends you can have all of them right here on this widget so all you gotta do is just go ahead open the app and enter the birthdays of course you can enter there the name of the person that has a birthday that day and it will show you right here on the widget it will show you the name of course the birthday and then it will also show you how many days are left until that birthday now if you go to the app it's pretty pretty simple all you gotta do here is just go ahead and tap the add button and from here you can add a picture you can add the first name last name birthday phone number like any notes you want and then all you gotta do here is just tap the save button button and you're good to go you will have that birthday saved on the widget the next one is called timer and it will add you some really quick timers right here on the widgets panel so you need to run a timer you will have a bunch of them right here so you can add new ones directly from there so we'll have like one minute two minutes you have five minutes 10 15 and 30 minutes so you have these quick options to do them directly from here and of course you will have the timers right here which you can go ahead and reset or pause or of course resume directly from here so just tap on one timer and it will start right away here you can of course reset it from the menu right here now if you want to create your own timers you can do that from the app just go to the app and right here we'll be able to create these new timers so all you gotta do is just tap there and tap create and you're good to go now you will have these new timers right here on the widgets panel so there's the timer that i just created and of course i can go ahead and just start it directly from here or i can go ahead and reset it whenever i want so you can have a bunch of timers that you create or of course you can have these quick timers right here the next one is called copied and this one allows you to easily manage 
your clipboard so whatever you have copied on your clipboard you can just go ahead open the widgets panel just tap right there and you can view what you have copied on the clipboard now you can clear the clipboard right here or you can tap the plus button and then you will be able to add that to the app so if i go to the app you will see that it will just add what i had copied on the clipboard to the app and of course it will save it right here as a note so it's as easy as that creating notes with this widget and of course if you tap right there it will paste whatever you have copied on the clipboard and you want to clear just tap right there and as you can see it says clipboard empty it will clear the keyboard clipboard as easy as that now if you tap the arrow it will show you your recent copies right here now if you want to copy back any one of them all you gotta do is just tap that little button and that will be copied back on the clipboard of your device the next one is XE currency and this one is of course very very useful if you're traveling a lot then you want to know the currency all you gotta do is just install this app and of course then you will have the widget right here and you can quickly see the current currency so if you tap the arrow right there you will see that it will show you the last updated so it updates of course really really often and then of course you can tap right there to switch between different currencies so you will have like the us dollar as the main one right there and then just tap right here to switch between other ones now of course you can have your main one and other currency you can do that from the app just go to the app and edit the main currency and then you will have the others right here date and time is a really interesting widget i like this one a lot so basically it will show you all the information you need to know about the current date of course it will show you here the classic like wednesday october 23rd 2019 the clock right here and you will have also an analog clock right there on the right side then it will show you the month is the 10th month and then it will show you the week of the year will show you the day of the year as well and also ordin ordinal day it will show you the fourth wednesday of october like for today and then of course right here at the bottom it will show you the time zone in which you're in next up is activity tracker this one is a very compact widget that will show you the activity for today now you can see right here it will show you your steps of course the miles that you have walked and also the calories that you have burned now if you tap on the arrow right there it will show you your hourly activity right here now if you want to get into more details you can just tap on the widget and it will take you right into the app and it will show you more details and it will also show you like, like your activity for the past days and if you tap right there it will show you the hourly activity and you can see right here how much you have walked during the day on specific hours of course so you just drag that little slider and it will show you the minutes the steps and also how much calories you have burned during that hour next up is the espn widget now of course this is a very popular app and the widget that it has to offer is really really awesome i really like this widget you can just go ahead and select your favorite teams from your favorite leagues and you will have the results of their games and then, then of course you will also have the schedule of your favorite teams right here on the widget without needing to google or go into any app so you can see right here it will show you just the most current one of course i'm a laker fan and then just tap right there and it will show you all the other stuff like that's related to your favorite teams like if you like choose like your favorite league is nba and your favorite team is for example lakers it will show you lakers at the top and then it will show you of course the nba the upcoming games and all that stuff so it's really really awesome now if you go into the app into the espn app then here you will be able to choose of course your favorite team you just go to the settings and then from here you will be able to just go ahead and edit your team so just go ahead and choose choose let me just go ahead and choose right there so you go to teams and you can go ahead and add more teams of course you choose the different leagues and then you just add teams and then you will see the schedule and of course the scores of those teams right there on the widget the next widget for the video is called snap stats and it will give you a bunch of detailed informations regarding your device so right here we'll have a few different sections the first one is device where it will show you the name of the phone it will show you the current ios system that you're running and then of course it will show you the platform type the time zone right there and the uptime of your device right there then you will have network then you will have battery where it just shows the percentage of the battery that you have left and then if you go to disk it will show you the usage 
of the disk so it shows you how much you have used in percentage and also in gigabytes and then it will show you how much you have left also on percentage and on gigabytes as well and then if you go to the ram memory it will show you all the details regarding the ram memory of your device so the active memory the inactive the free ram memory and all that stuff will be right here under the ram section the next widget for the video is called world clock and as you can see right here it allows you to have different like times from different time zones all on the widgets panel right here so you can notice here i have abu dhabi i have tokyo new york and oslo as well so you can notice some of the clocks are black and some are white so based on the day there so in new york it's day right now in tokyo for example it's night time so it will be black so based whether it's during day or during night it will show you a black or a white like clock right there and if you tap on the arrow it will show you more if you have like more clocks here so you can add a bunch of them and all that can be done from the app just go to the app and right here just tap the plus button and just basically go ahead and search for any city that you want just click right there to add it to the list and then when you go back to the widget you will have that city right there so you can have as many as you want right here and you can basically know what time it is on any parts of the world the next one is called my weather so this one has a bunch of widgets included so you will have my weather air quality my weather city where you will have different cities my weather today and of course my weather weekly so you can see right there at the top it will show you your current air quality of the current city you're on or any city that you choose from the app it's currently not showing it but it should in a few seconds right here once it's updated and then right here you will have the weather conditions for different cities of course cities that you add on the app then lower here you will have the weather for the current city that you're on your location or any like city that you have chosen on the my weather app and then lower here it will of course show you the weekly forecast for that city for your current city or the city that you have chosen so you can see right here it has like four different widgets into one so if you go into the app you can go ahead and add cities right here just tap right there and you can search for any city that you want and you can go ahead and add them to the widget and you can just swipe like this to go between different cities and if i just swipe here i'll leave i'll leave it here on paris then it will show me the weather for paris right here so once it's updated it will change to paris so that's really really awesome my weather one app of course it is free and it has four widgets next up is i translate now this one is really really useful you can translate anything that you have copied on the clipboard of your iphone as easy as this like directly from here from the widgets panel you will have a bunch of flags here and all you got to do is just basically copy something you want to translate on the, into the clipboard and then you can just tap the flag to which you want to translate that word as you can see right here it will as easy as that go ahead and translate it and then you can tap right there to copy whatever it has translated as easy as that now if you go into the app here of course you will have more options you can change the language and all that but if you just want to quickly translate something then you can do that as easy as this directly from the widget of this app and last but not least is a fun one now of course we gotta have fun sometimes so here is steve this widget allows you to play a game that you get on google where there is no internet you know there's a game if there's no internet you just have to tap the space bar and you will start playing this game well you can do that now from the widget here so all you gotta do is just tap the little arrow right there and then just tap to play right there and you will be able to easily play this game right here on the widgets panel now of course you can do this here on the widgets panel on the home screen or even on the lock screen of your device so you're waiting for something or you're just bored you just want to kill a, a little bit of time you can do that without even having to install like another game or anything you can just do that quickly here from the widgets panel this is really really awesome again this widget is called steve and of course you can download it for free from the app store
So that's basically it for this video guys. These are 15 widgets that are very, very useful and you can get them all for free from the app store. These are the must have widgets for your iOS 13 device. Again, thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you enjoyed this one, of course, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. So that's basically it. Again, I will be uploading more iOS 13 videos. And if you enjoyed this one, go ahead and subscribe for those. Again, thank you guys for watching. Now we'll see you on the next one.